Hey guys and welcome back. I wanted to do a quick video and sort of update you guys on a few things. So this video is going to be kind of scattered and all over the place, but I need to sort of update you guys on just things that's been going on in my life for the past few weeks. Talk about my acne scar treatment because you guys have been blowing me up with questions and trying to figure out what I'm doing because I did tease you guys on Instagram with a picture and sort of talking about what I'm doing. Um, so I will go over that. I will go over some things that I'm doing to prevent uh, breakouts. Um, what else? What else? Oh yes, I'm having a seminar in LA on March. Let me check. March 23rd. So I'll be having a seminar at Naomi's Beauty Center, which is in the Valley. I will have all the information down in the description box. I already um, blogged about it and I also have it under classes. If you visit my website and go under classes, you will see all the information. I'm thinking of doing a red carpet inspired sort of glamorous party special occasion type makeup so it's gonna be a lot of fun um, one thing I wanted to talk about was I was thinking of using one of you guys as the model so um, if you're interested in modeling for me that day all you have to do is take a picture of yourself with no makeup on post it on Instagram and hashtag model for Sona and I will randomly pick two people so one person is going to be sort of a backup in case the first person Person doesn't show up but the second person gets to see the seminar for free and you will just attend the seminar okay so seminar covered uh, again I will have a lot more information in the description box so check that out next thing I wanted to talk about is where I am because this is a new setup and I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering where I am so if you follow me on Instagram Twitter Facebook it's kind of been all over the place then you already know the big news I did get engaged about a few weeks ago so like two weeks ago or so I am uh, in San Diego right now filming from my fiance's apartment I turned his apartment into a mini studio so anyway I'll be filming from here and of course from LA as well so you'll be seeing kind of a mixture of things this one and the LA background so yes we got engaged a few weeks ago it was insane beautiful totally surprised um, good news is that it was filmed because I was working for the platform and um, he, my fiance coordinated things with them and somehow I the whole thing is filmed so they're working on editing it so once the video is up I'll definitely let you guys know so you can check out the proposal if you want to a little bit about my ring I just I don't want to get too into it but it's an oval cut because a lot of you guys have been asking on Instagram it's an oval cut I absolutely love it it's very simple solitaire just one stone and I love it it's beautiful he did really really good <laughs> we went to Cabo right after we got engaged so it was really nice it was a nice little getaway vacation for us I've been posting a lot on Instagram so um, if you want to see some pictures from the trip check that out uh, okay moving on to acne scar treatments I know this video is kind of all over the place but I kind of wanted to just update you guys when I'm done with the acne scar treatments I will definitely have a, a separate video dedicated to that and all of the treatments because every time I go in for a treatment I vlog about it once I'm done with everything I will post that for you guys but um for now I wanted to talk about just a little bit what I'm doing because so many of you guys want to know I go to my dermatologist in Pasadena I have talked about her in previous videos um one of them was a more of an in-depth video so I will link that down below if you guys want to see that so we are working on treating my acne scars and what we've been doing so far we've been doing a lot of peels so there are several different types of peels and she's kind of been mixing it up for me um, I've done three peels with her so far I love how my skin looks right after the peel but there is definitely downtime with every peel there's definitely a five to six day downtime so with work it's tough you kind of have to have a flexible job to to do these peels but there is also um, a laser treatment that you can do which I'm going in for I'm not sure when because I need to look at my schedule it's been crazy because I've been trying to plan a wedding and I'm like I don't know if I have time to be home and do nothing for seven days because a laser treatment takes a little bit longer to you know the downtime is a little bit longer so um, yeah so that's kind of what I've been doing peels and um, I'm gonna go in for a laser treatment and hopefully my skin will be clean after that um, honestly my skin isn't that bad my acne scars are not that deep but I still don't want to have any acne scars right so I want to just kind of completely get rid of them with the three peels I've seen 
a difference, absolutely. My scars are still there. But they're not as deep as they were before. I definitely see a difference. That's why I keep going back. <laughs> I will link my dermatologist in the description box in case you are in the LA area. Um, I love her, so definitely recommend her. But if okay, so some things that I'm doing to prevent acne. Um, first of all, I use this brush. I've talked about this before, but I love it, so I'm going to talk about it again. First, I clean my face with a makeup removal wipe. So I, I use the Neutrogena ones because I think it's so good for sensitive skin. After cleaning my face with the, with the towels, I will then go in and really wash it with this brush because this takes everything off. I talked about this once before and this is not the Clarisonic. The Clarisonic's good, but it's a little bit more expensive. Um, I think this is basically the same thing, but cheaper. So I will link a discount code that they provided because I talked about this, they gave me a discount code. So I will definitely provide that down below. I think it ends up costing like 30 something dollars. So it's pretty affordable. I highly recommend it. Don't use it too much. Don't use it like in the morning and at night because you don't need to do that. In the morning, all you have to do is wash your face with your hands, but every night to really take all that dirt and if you have makeup on, to really take that makeup off, I would recommend using something like this in order to really remove all that junk. So some products that I use currently, my skincare routine changes all the time. I cannot believe I haven't done a skincare routine. It's definitely coming. I gotta work on it and sort of show you guys how I use the brush and everything else. But for now, I'll just go over some of the cleansers that I use. This one is by Murad and it's called Acne Body Wash. I use this on my body if I have any break it, breakouts on my back. However, my fiance loves using this on his face, so it's also good for the face, I'm sure. It's it's a pretty good buy because it's huge, so it'll last you for a long time. Ours is almost out, we're about there right now, so it's great. It controls breakouts and uh, you know if you have oily skin, I would recommend something like this. For the face specifically, of course my acne.org stuff that I still use, I talked about it before. Uh, I love it. I use the face wash and the moisturizer when I'm breaking out especially. I like to use these. But when I'm not breaking out, I like to use other, other stuff that, that's really good for the skin as well. One last thing I will talk about is if you would use a foundation brush, be sure to wash it. I use the F80 Kabuki brush by Sigma. I absolutely love it. It buffs your foundation into your skin and it's really, really simple to wash it. So all you have to do is wash it with shampoo and done. I would say if you are breaking out constantly, wash it every single time. I know it sounds crazy, but if you are breaking out, you don't want to spread all that, you know, all over your face, so wash it every time. If you're not breaking out and you have normal skin, then you can wash it a couple, you know, maybe twice a week or so, and that should be fine. But brushes hold bacteria, so be sure to wash your brushes often. I think I've covered it all. I feel like I talked so fast and I covered so much, so hopefully um, this wasn't too much for you guys, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!